in a very long time, and even though it's one of my most popular videos uh, I've done on my channel, I do apologize for that, and I usually don't really do a lot of gameplay videos, but Overwatch has been a game that I've been recently getting into very much, so, so, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Also, 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 yes, I'm posting a video game today, which you can probably guess means today is a double upload day. Double upload, double upload, double upload day. So if you guys want to see another video tonight, 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 maybe some Star Wars Battlefront content, uh, make sure to slap a like on the video. I'll even give you a nice countdown. Five, four, three. is going just to be a little bit of a whispered, well, soft-spoken uh, rambling video over some Overwatch gameplay, which, uh, like I said, I've been getting into pretty recently. Uh, if you don't know, I've been playing Overwatch since 2016, since the game's really been first out since about Season 3 or Season 2. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I'm just sort of getting my bearings back on the game. Um, I'll be showing just some gameplay and some of my highlight clips that I've saved over the years. Obviously, they're not, you know, my best highlights because I rarely even ever save highlight clips, but I recently started doing it, and I thought it'd just be kind of fun to make, like, a little collage video of some of my, um, some of my highlights that I've done before. So, um, definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys like this video or like the gameplays and things like that. Uh, it definitely means a lot to me. But yeah, Soldier 76 is definitely a hero that's very um, <laughs> vanilla in Overwatch terms. He's very, just like a normal sort of uh, FPS shooter type character. Uh, a character I have been getting into a lot recently, sort of making it my new goal of being good at them, is Echo. Echo, 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 Echo. I really want to get better at Echo. I feel like she's a very uh, cool hero that's, you know, her ultimate is being able to take over someone else and becoming them, so it definitely involves a lot of skill being able to not only be good at Echo, but be good at different Overwatch characters, and uh, being able to use their ultimates smartly, so definitely a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, like I said, uh, if, you know, this video gets some love, I will be doing a double upload on some Star Wars Front 2 gameplay, and I've been thinking about doing a top 10 Star Wars movie. Soldier, at least in my opinion, 
is he's one of the best characters I get on getting picks. Obviously, unless you're playing Widow, Hanzo, uh, Ash with a uh, Mercy boosting you. Soldier is a character who can squish the squishies very fast. So if you're a character like an Ana or Zen or someone with very low HP, Soldier is your man to take them out very, very, very fast. Especially now with the Soldier update, he has no recoil. Well, he has recoil. He doesn't have any um, bullet spread. So it's not like a circular sort of spread. It's a linear spread. So as long as you can keep your aim down, you can get headshots for days. For days, for days, for days, for days. Definitely, um, I don't want to say not fair, but definitely, 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 uh, very, very, very fun to play. Uh, I would definitely recommend Overwatch to people who are interested in FPS shooter games. Now, obviously, uh, you know, the objective of Overwatch isn't to, you know, get more kills than the enemy team, it's objective based, and some people very much do forget about that in Overwatch, that it, it is an, an objective-based game, but uh, uh, I still recommend it. It's a lot of fun, especially if you're just casually playing it or playing it with a friend. Uh, definitely a lot, a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, like I said before, I definitely didn't know I was going to be filming this clip, so uh, I'm sort of just playing it like I would be playing it in a party, like on my phone or looking at different things or maybe even eating time so um, yeah we'll see how it goes it looks like the enemy team is running with a sigma who uh, if you didn't know sigma is arguably the most overpowered tank right now uh, you can use sigma on any map with any comp and it's a good comp because sigma is just that good that good that good so much because we are running uh, over uh, uh, Roadhog, which means uh, we have a little bit of cover, but Roadhog needs to start getting picks with his hook. Uh, so that's why I want my team to stay together. That's a nice little pick off of the Widowmaker up top. Get a nice squishy there with Ana, and another squishy right there, like I was telling you guys before. Uh, Soldier's one of those guys with, if you get a good flank, you gotta be able to take out the squishy healers. Not too bad, in my opinion. I still have my ult, so I'm doing pretty well. I'm trying to make sure they don't uh, come back with any force right now. And it looks like the uh, Widowmaker switches off and becomes an Ash all of a sudden, so that's pretty cool. Definitely do not need that Widowmaker around. A dangerous character if you're standing still, <laughs> which as a soldier, you definitely don't have a lot of cover and you need to be kind of out in the open to get good shots off. So. Here, I'm trying to just uh, stall the uh, um, signal, ult, making sure my guys don't get absolutely nothing out of it. So I didn't get a couple good picks right there. And I actually really like the Gibraltar map. It's one of my favorite maps. Uh, Soldier's a really good player on this map. A lot of flanking, a lot of high cover. Uh, so it's definitely very, very. So if you play, you know, like a Genji or a Sombra, someone who's really good at flanking, uh, this is also a great map as well, because you get a lot of areas to sneak around in, get behind enemies, uh, get away from enemies. It's a definitely a good map if you play offense. It looks like one of the players on the enemy team left. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely really sad. If you're a guy who plays competitive and leaves during the match, uh, shame on you, because... That obviously takes a lot of the fun out of it, and it just guarantees a loss for your team. I mean, right now, if uh, you know the enemy team just hunkered down with that extra guy not leaving, they arguably could have you know pushed pretty far, but um, they don't really have a lot of belief in their team. It seems that enemy soldier is actually doing pretty well. Um, just trying to keep my distance from them. Uh, soldier isn't a character you really want to play super far away from teams you don't want to be like a, a sniper with soldier but you also don't want to be too close because obviously soldier not the close 
close quarter of combat sort of character. Oh god. <laughs> oh, and I'm still alive. God. <laughs> I'm surprised I actually almost caught that Roadhog. I just had to get a little bit of extra help, but I didn't really get that. Looks like another Sigma ult going off. My Mora gets a nice pick with Ana. Soldier again for that enemy team is popping off. And over time, just halting, halting, halting the enemy team. Just trying not to not get on the points of applying a lot of pressure. And with that, oh, <laughs> they still want <laughs> other soldiers uh, over there. And voila, we get the win, the win, the win, the win, the win, the win. So yeah, that was just a little highlight clip of just me playing some Overwatch. Uh, if you guys want me to play more Overwatch, let me know down in the comments and also if you guys didn't know i do personal 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 videos personal videos so if you did want a specific game me playing a specific overwatch character make sure to hit up my email the email email down in the description i think it's just asmballer at gmail.com uh, if you did want more gameplay videos but as you guys know i didn't really post that much uh, gameplay videos so if you do want one very badly <laughs> definitely hit me up in the email It'd definitely make it very much easier to uh give you the content that you want and probably deserve <laughs> next up we are going just to be looking at just some fun highlight clips i've had <laughs> over the, the months of me sort of restarting overwatch um if you guys didn't know Junkrat is actually my favorite character in Overwatch. Uh, as you can see the, by the golden gun, uh, Junkrat was like the first character I really like fell in love with. Uh, I got to, I think diamond or almost diamond, uh, just by playing Junkrat back in the day with open queue role, uh, open queue, uh, uh, competitive play. Um, this was back in the day when I used to play Reinhardt a lot for like main tank. Uh, definitely do not play Reinhardt <laughs> at all anymore. If you don't know, Reinhardt is a pretty historic, uh, or I guess prehistoric character in Overwatch. No one really plays him. At least you probably shouldn't. <laughs> Not the greatest tank when there's, you know, Roadhog, Sigma, uh, Zarya going on. And then my sort of main uh, support character, which I like to think I'm pretty decent at, is Moira. As you can see by the golden nails. Uh, Moira is again a character who I didn't really think about. Uh, earlier on when she first came out as being a character I would play a lot but uh, definitely 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 uh, my main for support and then uh, my main for tank uh, I guess you could say is Zarya 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 uh, Zarya is definitely the tank I've played the most and used the most I find the most effective when I play but uh, like I said before Sigma is just the best tank in the game right now and I've been very much uh, been practicing trying to get better at Sigma and ball, 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 or hammy, or wrecking ball, whoever you want to name them. Um, I definitely need to start getting better at those characters because they're definitely more meta. Uh, meta, 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 at least in my opinion. Uh, also, I do apologize. I keep forgetting to buy gum when I'm at the store to do gameplay videos on. Uh, I rarely chew gum uh, in real life, so uh, I always just forget to some whenever I'm out, so I do apologize. I definitely love Moira's ult. It's definitely uh, can be a very overpowered ult, especially when you're doing both healing and damage at the same time. Uh, if you use it in the right way, the right situation, it's definitely a lot of fun. What is this clip? Oh, I remember actually. I remember. I remember. I remember. This is actually a clip of me. See? C9, at least from what I can remember, but uh, it's definitely me back capping against the enemy team. As you can see there, we had a little bit of a bad push, and uh, definitely did not go as planned. A lot of my teammates died, so uh, I sort of just let my team know that I'm over here, and uh, hoping that they don't see me, which they don't. I 
I can see there from my enemy highlights that the enemy is pushed a little bit too far and my teammates are up there fighting. So uh, if you don't know when you're pushing the payload, if you just sit behind the payload like this, uh, it automatically will push you uh, as if you're, you know, walking, but uh, I'm not even walking right now. I'm just letting the payload push me <laughs> as I'm getting pushed. And I get a nice little, uh, it's not technically a C9, but a nice little back cap on a competitive game. I find that a very, very, very funny. You can see the enemy team's point of view. They're just so mad. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I love doing little memes and jokes like that in Overwatch. It's a lot of fun. Here's just some more Zarya gameplay with some... Uh, Graviton Surge Ultimates. It's definitely a very overpowered ult, especially if you get a good Wombo Combo, Wombo Combo, with their, you know, either a, a Hanzo ult, an Earth Shatter, a Sigma a Lift. I feel like those are definitely some very good ones. Oh, this is a nice little Junkrat flank right here. Um, the junk rat is just so overpowered. If you play them right, getting good, uh, getting good little flanks here and there. Definitely very good. Obviously, not being dumb with the junk rat, not trying to play, you know, too bad is <laughs> definitely the best sort of situation. And as I've been saying before, I've been, I've been trying to get better at Echo, at Echo, at Echo, at Echo. Uh, obviously, <laughs> doing the Zarya ult was my best case scenario right there. Oh, it didn't show me killing that Mercy right there, but. so dope in my opinion uh, very overpowered if you're you know a very uh, good person with uh, different heroes and playing different heroes again it's just me playing some Reinhardt which again a character that's very prehistoric if you play Reinhardt in competitive it's not the greatest pick especially if you win that like I said before Sigma is just the better option if you're trying to you know, do a shield character Nice Zarya, Zarya, Zarya gameplay right here. Oh, a nice bubble on my Hanzo, who, not Hanzo, <laughs> uh, McCree, who ulted right there. Uh, yeah, whatever, a hero bubble's ult, whether it's a McCree, a soldier, uh, uh, a Genji, getting that bubble off on that air, uh, hero while they're getting their ultimate is very, 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 very important, at least in my opinion. And here we get a little bit of um, Soldier 76 gameplay as well. As you can see, I very much play Junkrat and Soldier, definitely my mains for, for, for Assault. But I really want to throw in some Echo in there as well to get some diversity. I feel like it'll help me out a lot. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like the video and watch out later tonight for a double, double, double upload on some gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you again in my next video.